Feline infectious peritonitis is a leading cause of illness and death among cats worldwide, and there is no treatment for it, so it's routinely a fatal disease, and clearly it has a major impact on feline health and well-being. It's particularly a problem in young cats, and up until now, it's been a major problem in terms of diagnosing the disease definitively. This is a virus which is, has a lot of uh, important things going on. It's a virus that is a big, huge black box in terms of the, what is causing the cat, and that's really, the, really what captured my attention. The feline infectious peritonitis is caused by a virus called a coronavirus, and this is a type of virus that usually causes relatively benign disease. When it mutates to this more lethal form of the disease, it causes a generalized inflammatory reaction throughout the body then is routinely fatal. So the conventional approach to this problem is essentially a genetic approach which means analyzing a lot of samples of cats from a genetic point of view, the sequence information of the virus. We kind of twisted that around a little bit and refocused our efforts more from a biochemical point of view which means looking at the function of the virus first. That was the breakthrough in order to be able to focus our efforts on this particular region of the virus. So I think it's this refocused approach thinking of function first, which has allowed us to, to kind of make this, this discovery. The ultimate goal would be to identify potential therapeutic targets to treat cats that have FIP, and also quite importantly, to develop an effective vaccine from this finding to prevent FIP. We've been studying this virus for maybe three or four years. I'd really like to put a big thank you out to the people who helped contribute to the study.